The demand for electricity that EVs will create is going to be a new challenge for our power grid. But the batteries in electric cars might just help to solve one of the grid's most pressing issues. Storage. Supplying extra power at times of peak demand is one of the grid's key functions. But storing electricity at a large enough scale to do this is notoriously difficult. Back in the early 1970s, a massively ambitious power storage scheme was opened in the Wicklow Mountains that uses water and gravity. Turlock Hill is a pumped storage system built into the heart of a mountain. At times of high demand, the reservoir above drains water down through enormous generators to a lower lake. At night, when demand is low, the turbines go into reverse and pump the water back up to the mountaintop. With renewables being an increasingly important but variable source of our electricity, the need for power storage has never been greater. And it's possible that electric vehicles could help. Back in the 1970s when Turlock Hill was built, it was state of the art because it took water from a lower reservoir and in times of excess energy supply it would pump that water to a top reservoir and then in times of energy need it would release that water again to power a turbine and create more electricity. And, and that's the kind of storage system we need now as we move to a more variable renewable energy system comprised of wind and solar. So when it's not windy and it's not sunny we have this stored energy in the form of something like water like Turlock Hill. And Turlock Hill is still state of the art and places like Scotland are emulating it. So Silver mines in Tipperary is building something very similar. But the cost of doing this is astronomical. So what we need is to think of our electric vehicles as potential storage systems to store excess electricity and allow electric vehicle owners to feed that electricity back into the grid in times of need. So you could actually use your electric vehicle as a battery for your house, so you could fill it all day with your solar and your wind, and then you could use it at night to power your home? Yes, yeah, so some systems are, are proposing that an electric vehicle owner could make 60 to 70 euro a month if they were willing to give up some of their electricity in times of need. If, say, they didn't need a full battery for, for the trip they were making the next day. And for someone like me, that's roughly what I spend on charging my ele electric vehicle every month. So I could essentially offset my entire fuel costs if a system like this was in place.